here we are back in Boise. I've got my Catalina 25 behind me, uh, getting ready for another adventure. It's cold, it's winter time, it's uh, January of 2023, and uh, ready to head out. This adventure is going to be a little bit different than the last ones though, so kind of keep watching, I'll let you know what happens. So here we are now, next step of the adventure. We're in Ireland, and I know it sounds crazy, why am I in Ireland right now? We're on the uh, east coast of Ireland in a town called Wicklow. Because uh, Jess and I have decided to buy a new boat. <laughs> it's totally crazy, craziest decision we ever made in our lives. We're gonna be picking the boat up in France. <laughs> and what, <laughs> trying to sail across the ocean. So, um, it's kind of a big step for us, but we're really excited about it. It's a real long story about how I'm in Ireland with a boat being built in France, but I bet I can recap it here for you. I hinted at this a little bit in my last video, and here's the story. For those of you that have been following our channel, you would know that for the last several years, myself, Jessica, Cassidy, and Tucker have been sailing around in our really tiny Catalina 25 sailboat. A little dicey out there. More waves than I like to have on my boat. It has been just a wonderful boat to us, but we kind of started getting an itch to maybe move on to something a little bit bigger. It was this past August of 2022 that we were offered the opportunity to buy an amazing boat. Quicker than I expected, Jess and I decided to go all in and put a deposit down on the craft. The bow's expected to be delivered in December and no later than mid-January, so we had a whole bunch of stuff we had to take care of. As fall rolled around, the list of things we had to take care of was enormous. I had to go through every list of sailing equipment that I had ever made and figure out what needed to go with us and what could stay. Cass, Jess, and I were going to be gone for about nine months, so we had to take care of all kinds of things. Things like getting our daughter out of school and learning how to homeschool. We had to find someone to take care of our dog. And I had to get rid of my old truck that I'd had for so many years. We decided to rent our house while we were gone. There's not a weirder feeling in the world than driving by the house that you lived in for 25 years and realizing somebody else is living there now. We had some going away parties and some last drinks with best friends, and then it was time to get out of Boise. The first leg of our trip was driving from Boise to Denver. Friends and family in Denver offered to bring bags out to France for us. All we had to do was get the bags delivered. Well, it's kind of crazy. Uh, pulled away from your house for, for like a year almost. God, totally don't even know what to expect. It's a little bit scary. It's like tons of sadness right now, but I think I think, you know, tons of sadness and just a little bit scared about the entire change of how our lives are run. But, you know, I'm excited for a ton of adventures and I hope to like see all my friends. I hope they want to come on the trip with us. But yeah, it's hard. I've known this place for like 30 years and so like everything I'm driving by is the last time I'm going to see it for a while. It's definitely the longest I've ever been away. Like before this, it was probably like maybe five weeks or four weeks. If you're gonna do cool things, you can't fear a, a change of lifestyle. So this is just the cost of doing business, I guess, in order to um, create great memories. And there's been a lot of things in my life that I've done that I've had to change my lifestyle to experience. So moving out to Idaho, uh, moving to California to be a river guide. Um, yeah, um, leaving some friend circles for others so that I could pursue new interests. This is another one of those, but I think we're gonna have a lot of our friend circle follow us, even though the uh, cost to get into the um, operation is big. I think we'll have really good rewards on the end. So yeah, see how it goes. If you had remembered from earlier in the video, we were to have received our boat in either December or January. In October, however, we were notified that the boat wouldn't be ready until the 23rd, 
which was okay, it just gave us a little extra time to get stuff together and visit some friends. The first leg of our drive took us from Boise, Idaho to Park City, Utah. The next morning we left Park City and had some miserable driving going through Wyoming. We eventually landed in Denver, Colorado. We were enjoying Denver, but we were starting to notice a disturbing trend in our boat delivery date. It now sounds like we aren't going to get our boat in January, we're not going to get it in February, and the new date is going to be March 6th. We were really happy to have friends and family in Denver. We really took advantage of their willingness to share their houses with us. We also tried to find ways to keep ourselves entertained. You guys are going to do a challenge? What's yeah, the challenge? We're going to go outside and whoever can stay in the longest gets a prize. How about that? And How about the other person is your servant for 15 minutes? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Woo! How is it? Yeah? Check it in, how's it going? I'm having a strategy right now. <laughs> I'm putting this in here and it makes me work. At the 15 minute mark, you both have to do snow angels. Oh, no! I win! <laughs> Doesn't make me happy to say it, but I know my limits. I win! <laughs> nice. Woo! You won? Yeah! Okay, so you have to be my servant now. I guess I'm, I'm, How cold are you? Those are the rules. Oh, yeah, he's cold. Yeah, you know, he got serving for 10 minutes. And mm. you just have to do that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, rules are rules. We spent the rest of January in Denver, and then in February, we flew to North Carolina to visit my dad one last time before we headed to Europe. I will say that all this time, we were anxiously awaiting our March 6th delivery date. One of the more nutty things that our downtime gave us was the ability to see the Chinese spy balloon as it flew over North Carolina. Jess, it really is it. Oh, yeah. It's a Chinese spy balloon. It's right over the house over there. Oh, yeah. Are they really trying to spy on us? I think so. Say hi to Jin Xiaoping. What's Jin Xiaoping? Whoa, I can't believe it. It's out there. Why is it coming towards us? Because they're, they're spying on us, I guess. We had all the plans in place to pick up our boat on March 6th. We had our plane tickets booked to leave on the 23rd and hotel reservations in Paris and in La Rochelle, France. Unfortunately, on February 17th, we got a message from our broker. They said the deal to have the boat delivered on the 6th was off, and now our new date is going to be April 13th. We had all of our bags packed, so we figured the thing we should probably do is head to La Rochelle and just try to figure out what's going on. We took off out of Washington Dulles and then did a quick stop in Ireland before proceeding on to Paris. The amount of luggage we had, I would have to say, was completely ridiculous. After changing out cars two or three times, we finally found a rental that could hold all of our stuff. Just barely. We eventually finished the five hour drive to La Rochelle and then spent the next two or three days walking the docks and trying to find somebody that might have answers as to where our boat might be. When we had downtime, we took the opportunity to explore the city, go visit the attractions, and get some great food. I'm not here all by myself. I have to say that La Rochelle is one of the prettiest towns I've ever spent time in. It's got a wonderful old section downtown and then a massive boating industry. The size of the marina here is absolutely insane. I was told by one person that it has room for just shy of 5,000 boats. If you were just walking around La Rochelle, I would say it would probably take you about four or five days to wrap your head around how big this marina is. There's shops where you could buy anything you would ever need to outfit your boat, and tons of specialty stores that can do welding and all kinds of fabrication. If you walk around long enough, you can see every type of sailing vessel you can imagine being worked on and in different stages of construction. We were eventually able to track down the people that were responsible for the construction of our boat. Once we got a reasonable set of answers, we decided it was time to head out. You might be wondering why we didn't just stay in La Rochelle and wait for our boat to be completed. The reason we didn't stay is that there's this rule called the Schengen Rule. It states that any foreigners, like at least from the United States, 
can only be in the European Union, or basically this Schengen district, for 90 out of 180 days. We would love to have stayed, but we're gonna need all those 90 days to get ourselves down into the Mediterranean and then in our preparation for crossing the Atlantic. We had to leave and go to a non-Schengen country until the boat right, was ready so. for us to move on to. We're leaving this clam bank. Done with La Rochelle for a little bit. Super cool town. Done with baguettes. Well, we're gonna be in Paris for a couple days. But then, um, I don't know, hopefully we covered all the ground we need to. Got a lot of stuff done, got the dinghy maybe figured out, solar figured out, davits maybe figured out. Met the people in charge of our boat a little bit. And just kind of with our sense of like what's going on in this town. It's a great town. I think we're gonna like it more than Paris. This was, um, really it's a huge town. town. Like I didn't realize how big it was. I totally thought it was gonna be this downtown is just take a little town. Lovely. Yeah, but getting our car, driving to Paris now. And a couple days there, then off to Ireland. So that ended our time in La Rochelle. We were fortunate enough to find a shop that was willing to store some of our luggage for us so we didn't have to drag it all the way to Ireland. We drove to Paris and spent a couple days exploring the city, and then it was off to Ireland. So hopefully that story explains why I am walking through a harbor in Wicklow, Ireland. I don't know where this journey is gonna take us or what exactly is going to happen. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna put it all together, but I'll do my best. I'm also gonna be putting a few other random videos out that might have nothing to do with sailing, but they're just different things I've always wanted to do, videos I've wanted to make and thought about over the years. And so occasionally those will pop in too. Just just roll with it, all right? So yeah, welcome along for the uh, journey. It's gonna be fun. I can't believe this is happening. So thanks everyone for your kind words, your support, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. Stay tuned to this channel, and when we have our next major development, we'll be sure to post about it. Until then, enjoy the content that I continue to post, and keep dreaming of your next adventure. Mm -hmm.